just sat in the car on the way to the hotel. The guys at Volkswagen have given us this little hamper with like hand sanitizer, snacks, juice, masks, sab kuch. Guys, this is what the Taj Aravali in Udaipur looks like. I'm just heading to the room now. It's a stunning. Look at the sky today. There's a beautiful pool they unfortunately cannot use. But I just wanted to show you what the setting looks like. So I finally had breakfast and now headed to the room. I really like the design of this hotel. It's really beautiful. You can see behind me. Okay, I'm giving you a quick room tour here at the Taj Aravali in Udaipur. This is what my room looks like. Oh, we've got some goodies from the team at Volkswagen. They've sent a jacket, which is really good because it's quite cold and I don't have a jacket. Uh, notebook, pen, welcome letter. Very elegant decor here. I really like this sloping ceiling. A nice view of the greenery outside. Okay guys, I'm finally ready for the drive. It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. Let me go to the bigger mirror. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing really nice comfy jeans. I'm wearing a polo. I'm wearing this nice little windsheeter kind of jacket that the guys at Volkswagen have given. So I've got some nice sneakers. I'm really sleepy. I need to have some coffee. So I'm gonna go out and have some coffee and go for the briefing and start the drive look. The day has already started. I've uh, just had breakfast and now I'm walking towards the flag off area where we are going to get our cars and uh, then start the drive. I'm really excited. It's about 300 kilometers. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, which way is it? That way. Okay. So Modita is here directing us towards the car and uh, get into one of them today. Hopefully. I got a nice cool color so I can shoot some Instagram content on it. So we are at the flag off area. You can see the whole line of cars in very very stunning colors. This is what it looks like at the start of any media drive. So the cars are all just parked. And now we'll get assigned which one is mine. So <laughs> thank you. Is this one ours? This one is C3. This one is ours? Yes, oh wow. Oh wow. Can easily fit in like two, three suitcases. Yeah, you want me to sit in there? Yeah, you can sit in there. Finally set up the audio Apple CarPlay with wire or without wire? Without wire. Tushar has some preferences for audio, so he's doing that as well. Adjusted the steering wheel. Now you're just waiting for the flag off. All flagged off and ready to go. Driving the new Tygon, about 300 k's today in the outskirts of Udaipur. Tushar starting on the wheel today. I'll take over probably later. I'm really looking forward to the drive, especially on the national highway. Tushar and I have been driving uh, on this absolutely stunning national highway from Udaipur to uh, Pindwara. 
really really good quality roads and amazing video opportunities um tushar what do you think of the car so far and the drive are you enjoying it i am enjoying it it's a uh, it's a very relaxed serene kind of drive i, I would have expected a little more engagement uh, in the drive but uh, i think this is more tuned to comfortable cruising than oh no 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 ah oh, that's our fleet okay. it? yeah so uh, in terms of the entertainment i think it's pretty cool i think it was pretty seamless connecting yeah. great sound we've been using apple car play wirelessly. both wirelessly and wire with wire yeah. uh, we have usb c ports not usb a yeah usb c ports which is great i think all the new cars are coming with usb c yeah. ports only no Yeah, in terms of uh, sitting as a passenger, I've not driven the car just yet. But in terms of sitting uh, as passenger, pretty comfortable, spacious. Like no complaint really. So uh, next stop, Pindwara for our little. Uh, what do you? Snack how do you? Uh, yeah, for a little pit stop. What do you think of the? We uh, are driving the manual, na? Yeah. How does it feel to be driving the manual or this manual? So, uh, like I said, uh, I think overall the okay, we need to be yeah, super careful. Super about careful animals. because there are lots of animals crossing this road. We've been told. So yeah. Yeah, I think uh, like I said, it's it seems to be tuned to more uh, soft comfort kind of uh, driving experience. Uh, the manual particularly feels like that. It's a really nice, smooth engine. It's quite quiet. It's really uh, quiet. Huh? It is quite quiet. It's not very quiet outside, like typical BMW petrols, uh, but it is quiet inside. Uh, and it is a 1.5 TSI, so it's got plenty of power and uh, plenty of torque for this size and weight of vehicle. But it still feels a little bit soft. There's not there's not that snappy, peppy delivery that you might have in some other turbo models. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at that stretch of the road. I'm going to show you the stretch of the road. It's really, really stunning. So guys, my verdict on the infotainment system and the center console is pretty uh, simplistic and nice looking. Um, I think the infotainment system is pretty uh, simple. The interface is really nice. It was not not too complicated to function. We tried out a bit of everything so far in the last two hours that we've had the car. So let me show you what we essentially got. All the all the important like navigation. We've got the music track etc all the keys on the screen on the touch screen are soft keys uh, we've got these two nice little ac vents here there are a couple of crucial hard keys here um i would have preferred there to be hard keys for the ac as it just makes it easier for the for the driver i think tushar what's your view on uh, the the entertainment and the console I would Do you think that we would uh, have like hard keys and on the AC, right? Certainly for the AC because you just you know there's muscle memory having driven for many years. You turn a knob or you press a button, which you can feel to huh. change the temperature or the fan speed or whatever. This becomes a little bit dangerous because I need to look down to change the temperature if I'm feeling hot, for example. Okay. Uh, so that's what it looks like. I like this whole geometric vibe going on here. What's the driver display like? The driver display for this model, the manual, is a, is a very fairly basic system. Uh, you've got your traditional two dials, and you've got a slightly large multifunction display. But it is uh, an old style system. You can see your odometer or your range and a few other things. Uh, the higher model has a full color uh, screen, uh, a virtual cockpit type of thing, as Audi likes to call it. That's of course a much more premium looking uh, driver vehicle. More on this later, guys. We're gonna continue enjoying our drive. Okay, so we've driven for about two hours, and we finally come to our pit stop, which is on the highway. What? Where we are gonna get off the car and uh, swim. I mean, have some refreshments, and then swap cars to the automatic version. So, Ryan, tell us about your experience with uh, the new Tiger. How so, do you like driving it? I am driving back from our pit stop right now. I have to say that it's an absolute pleasure. I'm driving the automatic one. Uh, it's really a smooth ride. 
एक्सीलरेशन इज प्रिटी ब्रिस्क ब्रेकिंग इज रियली ऑन पॉइंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल जस्ट नाउ ऑन द हाईवे अर्लियर वी केम अक्रॉस सम रियली कैमो फ्लैश अनएक्सपेक्टेड पॉट होल्स आई मैनेज टू काइंड ऑफ लिव टू टेल द टेल दे वर रियली बिग पॉट होल्स बट वी काइंड ऑफ मैनिपुलेटेड दैट प्रिटी ईजिली अदर दैन दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द होल सेटअप राइट हेयर आई एम फीलिंग वेरी कम्फर्टेबल आई मीन आई फील लाइक लिटरली ककूंड इन दिस लिटल कैबिन म्यूजिक इज ऑन पॉइंट एट द म्यूजिक गॉट माई स्पीड लिमिटर ऑन so pretty much makes for a really really comfortable ride, uh, drive um i think um, in terms of general comfort overall physical comfort there's a really high element of physical comfort i'm not feeling the fatigue though i'm doing a long drive so i think that it could really work for like road trips and intercity kind of drives for a family or you know like a bunch of friends oops i should make sure that i do not hit any of the animals on the road so yeah i think if a bunch of friends were to drive and even share the kind of task of driving it could make for a really fun road trip vehicle so yeah initial impressions of the tygon i am loving it so guys as you can see i am uh, standing right in front of the tygon that i've spent 2 hours driving absolutely amazing it first of all it's such a good looking car it has driven so well we did such an amazing journey today almost 300 k um i don't feel the fatigue at all because the driving experience was really nice a uh, really prompt acceleration great braking in fact i almost like like went over this massive pothole i spoke about it earlier um otherwise in terms of design i find this really a very very stylish looking car so that's pretty much all i have to say uh, this experience here in udaipur has been amazing